Hi, this is Deborah Mullins and welcome to my workplace problem. My problem is, is that I work at a warehouse and the warehouse is the landing area for new employees. The warehouse is divided into three sections, which is receiving, beginning, and final. We have a standard operating procedure for the entire warehouse, but each department operates independently. With no SOP, employees are confused on daily tasks or have to stop someone else working to ask, slowing down production. Long-term employees have started their own variations causing issues with mechanics when they receive the problem, or excuse me, receive the parts. The problem statement is, how do we go about developing and implementing a standard operating procedure, otherwise known as SOP, for our department? We looked into the different causes. What does it cause? It causes confusion, slows down production, and changing procedures. In the confusion area, no SOP allow, allows and leaves new employees confused on daily tasks. Production, new employees have to stop and ask how to do tasks, which slows down production for both. And changing procedures, when new procedures are implemented, there is nowhere to keep the updates. So what are the solutions? We need to write an SOP. We need to train employees on the SOP, and we need to continue to update the SOP as procedures change. What's the devil's advocate on this? Well, employees can be plug and play. An employee can be plug and play with an SOP to use as guidance. Their people have different learning styles. Everyone learns differently some verbally, some written instructions. With having no SOP, employees are taught by multiple people giving instructions throughout the day, but never able to access it via written information. And lastly, structure. An SOP gives the entire department structure and a guide to perform cohesively. The weighting ranking, rankings. So we looked at the different SOP, what would we do with an SOP, without an SOP, um, and with the existing one. The existing SOP is for the entire warehouse, whereas I've stated they work um, different, each department works differently. So the solution was is to create an SOP for each individual department within the warehouse. We did our process design program chart, starting with the standard operating procedures. And then the three tasks were form a committee, write an SOP, and train employees. Underneath the committee, we realized that we needed four to five team members, and we needed a proofing committee. Under writing the SOP, we needed proof and to make corrections. And then to train, we were gonna train via intranet and a manual. Finally, what are the steps? Well, we need to select the committee of four to five team members. We need to write the SOP. We need to send it to proofing and revise with corrections. We need to present it to the team lead and the warehouse manager. We need to train the employees and then update and revise as needed. The different considerations that we looked at as far as effectiveness is an SOP will streamline procedures among all employees and increase productivity. Ethical considerations were creating a tangible item that employees can use as a reference, which would assist all types of learning styles. And an environmental consideration is creating a positive and more unified vibe among employees. Having one set of policies and procedures within our department will allow for a fluid flow between employees. And then finally, I just say thank you and thank you for listening to my presentation. 